Ravensbrück was a very huge camp and there were inmates from many, many nations. Uh, in the short stay, uh, I could notice uh, truckfuls of bodies of skinny, just bones and skin bodies, dead bodies. It was tremendous degradation of of human beings. It was the human spirit suffered more than the physical spirit. We uh, slept two, three to a wooden uh, bunk. The tears in Ravensbrück were packed with human beings. There was stench in the air horrible stench between the latrines and the bodies. And we were indeed taken uh, to Germany and we stayed in Ravensburg. We were taken to Ravensburg because, oh, this is in northern Germany, very close to the North Sea. We were taken there and we were kept in a very large tent, something like a circus tent, for several days without food and water. It was uh, the, uh, without the water, I mean, we were sort of used to starvation, but without water, it was just something awful. It rained, and we had these spoons, and we were trying to put our spoon outside the tent to try and collect a few drops of water. And of course, we didn't have the patience to wait for the spoon to fill up. So as soon as we had a few drops of water, we would anxiously drink it. He threw me down. He wore high boots, and he saw, started to stone and me. They didn't have gun. And the two girls that worked in the same division, the same horrible place, helped me back after our work. And that's when I went to that place where the sick people were. And they said, don't say a word, because in a few days we will be liberated. We knew the fire was, we were liberated April 20 something when the Russians reached Wittenberg and displaced the people from the camps. They had no time to kill us. They went, the, the plan was to kill us, but they just plainly didn't have time. And uh, I survived and we had our numbers and the triangle and were assigned to barracks. When we came into the barracks, we saw on the wall Jewish writing, names, messages, many of it in Yiddish, which I couldn't read, but Peppy could. And she told me they were names. She read them to me, and I, I could understand. I just couldn't read or write. And uh, she told me there were messages, very, very heartbreaking messages and names of the people who, who were here, were the last, uh, tell others to remember us.